and is scheduled for one fall. Freeway action on the way, a second appearance in GWF for the man who loves his beard. Death before shaving is his motto. On his way to the ring first, please welcome Feyaz Aguila. Feyaz Aguila, student of the WXW Academy here in Germany, was part of the battlefield match last month. First chance here to see him in a bit more detail with an opportunity for him to pick up a pinfall or submission win. Here tonight at Chaos City 5. It is a beautiful beard. And introducing his opponents. From Berlin, Germany, Joshua Amaru. Impressive outing from Joshua Amaru. Uh, just at Unleashed when he took on Orlando Silva. Was unsuccessful, but getting better all the time is Amaru. Introducing the third and final competitor. Weighing 88 kilograms, this is Crochester! Another exciting newcomer here in GWF, Crochester, who also was in action at Unleashed in a hell of a match, the opening bout of Unleashed against Itash Baha. We're going to get another chance to see him in action. Prochester, Fayez Aguilar, and Joshua Amaru, three men, all of whom are right near the beginning of their GWF journey. And all of them will be fully aware of the magnitude of the opportunity facing them here. Bell rings, we are underway. A lot of crowd support for Crochester. A lot of intrigue still to come here tonight, of course. We are yet to find out the identity of Senza Volto's two tag team partners in that big six-man main event. Volto and his team, whoever they are, going to face Blutsbruder a little bit later on. And remember, all of our matches here tonight at Chaos City have a no disqualification stipulation. Rochester off the middle rope takes down Amaru. Shoulder block though by Amaru is pretty well put together. Pretty big guy, young Joshua Amaru, certainly the biggest of the three men in the match. Crochester, though, with so much speed. And that incredible 630 degree senton splash that we have seen one time before. Looking forward to hopefully seeing him get a chance to do that again here. Aguilar wasn't going to allow that to happen. He got the roll up there on Crochester for a quick two count. 
Aguilar, I think, is trying to negotiate with Crochester, trying to maybe form an alliance. Amaru is looking on at this discussion with some amusement. But here's Aguilar having reached an agreement with Crochester, very quickly bailed out. The bicycle kick from the young Russian, but look at that from Amaru. Joshua Amaru with a hard-hitting clothesline. Remember, we are under three-way rules here, so first man to score a pinfall or submission over either of their opponents wins the match. Chop across the chest from Crochester, but Amaru back with the elbow. Both men hitting each other with the forearms, the point of the elbow. Amaru striking Crochester right in the ear there. What is wrong with this man? Fayez Hagula <laughs> coming in here and telling both of the other two men in the match what a great job they're doing. I don't think either of them took particularly kindly to that. Hagula to the ropes. It's taken down. And having tried to arrange an alliance, the alliance seems to be against him. Rochester is headed up to the top. He's celebrating that little uh, passage of action. And while he was doing that, Joshua Amaru came pretty close to stealing the victory from him. A very short-lived partnership between these two. Dropped it right in the chest of Amaru from Crochester. Here comes Fayez Aguilar. Clipping the knee, and you can hear Crochester screaming in pain. Aguilar is putting the boot into that left thigh. Goes for the cover and kick out on two by Crochester. Comes Aguilar again. The clubbing blow across the back. It really is an exceptional beard. The more I look at it, the more I see what he means. Amaru sent back to the outside. Aguilar backing Crochester into the corner. Fayez Aguilar spending plenty of time Drawing off to the crowd here in Fessau Kreuzberg. Maybe getting a little bit overconfident at this point in the match, but it's a quick vertical suplex. He'll go for the cover, hooks that left leg, and gets another two count. Very important in a three-way match like this to keep an eye on where both of your opponents are. Amaru, you see there, is rolling back into the ring, which will be a problem for either of the other two if they want to attempt a pin here. Some Aguila. Boot right in the side of the head and then drops Crochester on the top of his head. Cover attempt by Aguila. Fortunately for Amaru, Crochester kicked out of it because Amaru is still really not in the match. He's perched down in that corner but wasn't in a position to, to break up that pin attempt. Well, now he's in though. Amaru, great strength on display. Crochester sent to the outside by Joshua Amaru. And Amaru dumps Aguilar on the canvas as well. Close line from Amaru. 
and another one. Crochester sent back to the outside area of the ring. And now Amaru measures him up, gets that big boot, nailed all of it. Covered by Amaru and a standing moonsault. That's one way to break up a pin. The ever spectacular Crochester. Now headed to the place where he's most comfortable. That top turnbuckle, but Agarath saw the danger, didn't let him get there. Aguilar with Crochester in a precarious spot here. Amaru joining the party. What's this from Joshua Amaru? Amaru, the suplex into the powerbomb. Both of his opponents go down. And if Amaru has enough fuel left in the tank here to capitalize, this match is here for the taking. Amaru deciding who to focus on. Aguilar's first back to his feet, so Amaru needs to take him out first and does. He'll try for the quick cover. Does Crochester realize what's going on? He didn't, but Aguilar kicked out. Amaru though. Oh, Amaru was trying to continue the fight. In the end, he got around the side of the head, that flying kick from Crochester. Amaru completely taken by surprise. Now hang on, Crochester, top rope, Aguilar in trouble. Good God, the 6.30 sent on. My word, what a move from Crochester who picks up the victory here at Chaos here City. Here is your winner. Absolutely breathtaking. The 6.30 sent on from Crochester. As the young man from Russia picks up an important victory to help him advance up the ladder here in the GWF. Crochester, your winner over Amaru and Fayez Aguilar.